So now let's just create and design the car info screen where we can take the car information from the driver. So for that purpose right click on authentication new dot file and let's give it name as info car info underscore screen car info screen start full widget and let's give it name as car info screen so when the driver click on this create account button we will send the driver to car info screen of course we will save the information to database as well okay to the firebase real-time database so we can say navigator dot push material page root and send the driver to the screen which is car info screen okay so yeah that's it now let's just hot restart and now let's click on the create account button so we are on the car info screen the reason it is black screen as you know it is just an empty container the background color for this screen will be black child sorry body single child scroll view and here we have to display the image okay the same image child column children widget and we can paste over image here also let's quickly add a size box of height 24 and similarly what we need to do we need to simply copy the same text field which we have here okay from here that is from the sign up screen and of course we will change it according to our needs on the car info screen so if you remember this text contain this title okay so just copy these two first size box and register as a driver so after this you can simply paste this okay and we can say car details write car details below or the message okay and then after it we will have uh, three text fields so just copy these three text field from here okay and then come back here and here we can simply paste it so first of all the first text field will be for the car model so we can simply say here instead of name you can say car model and we have to of course create the text editing controllers for these so let's just initialize that here so we will have three okay that is the car model text editing controller the car number text editing controller and car color text editing controller and you know I mean uh, why we use this text editing controller because we want to get that data which the driver will write in the text fields so anyways for the first one which is car model we have the car model text editing controller then the second one which we have it will be for car number text editing controller car number car number and make sure to change the type of this or you can even remove it okay or uh, that is the car number also contains some English alphabets as well so you can remove the keyboard type anyways after that we have the last one which will be for the car color so we can say car color text editing controller and remove the keyboard type 
from it so yeah this is how it looks similarly we have to apply padding on our this column widget which contain these three things okay so what we do just click here before this column C and you will see yellow bulb so click on wrap with padding okay and we have to give it 24 will be good okay just like this or if you want then you can give it 20 now one thing we need is basically a drop down list from here the driver can select the car type Uber X, Uber Go or bike which type car okay that is big small or bike the driver has so using the drop down button widget okay which has two properties items on changed by default okay first of all we need to give a hint that is uh, what the driver has to do so we can say that please choose car type font size will be 14 and color will be colors dot gray okay and then as you know it is constant so we will add the const keyword here const modifier after the hint as you know it will be a drop down list so we need a list which contain our values which we want to display in our this drop down so for that purpose we will create a list here list of string type values and let's give it name as car types list equals to please use the same spellings okay for example for the uber x uber dash x because later on i mean these names will play an important role in our app for sending notifications and all the things related to the trip uh, images i mean the images uh, which we will display according to uber dash x uber dot go and bike to the user when the user is going to place ride request so please use sam spellings okay otherwise i mean later on you will get confused in the course if you use different names so that's why first i mean complete the project complete this course with this name and of course later on you can do changes according to your need if you want to further modify things also let's create a string type variable to which we can assign the selected value that is selected user choice that is which car the user has selected okay so you can say selected car type okay just like this and then here now we can say the value will be the selected car type that is whatever the driver uh, I mean select the car type okay and then after it of course we will have on chat that is the new value which the driver will select from the drop down list so we have to assign this new value to our selected car type just like this make sure to add dot to string with the new value and now of course after the own change let display our items so you can say items our list which is car type list dot map dot to list change this e to car and we can say return drop down item child 
text and pass the value to it which is car and then of course after the text widget we can say value and assign car to it and remember make sure to apply a textile on the selected car value because our background is black and we will not be able, able to see it okay so as you know we are using the gray color so we can say colors dot gray and as it is constant so we can say const so let's hot restart or you can restart it by clicking the play button and let's choose anyone okay as you can see uber go bike uber x so it is working fine one thing is here the this background color of this drop down okay if you want you can change it as well for example here you have to simply type the drop down color and the color will be colors dot which one you want for example let's add white and uh, black 54 so now if I check here here you can see Uber X Uber Go bike just like this I mean any color you want you can add to it I think white 24 is good let's just hot restart so this one looks more cool more I mean more things which you want to change I mean if you want you can also change the icon size for example you can simply write here icon size okay and let's say how much you want okay so it is totally up to you how much you want the icon size moreover you can also change the icon by simply typing here that is icon icon start any icon you can choose I'm just showing you guys how to do it okay so I mean according to your needs you can also change the icon so it is totally up to you but we will go with the default icon which is this one okay for the drop down mostly this icon is used so yeah and also let's add a size box okay here just to move it a little bit below so yeah now it looks more cool okay now after this we need a button so let's minimize this and from the sign up screen the button which we used here which is the create account okay let's just copy this alongside with the size box and on the car info screen after the drop down we can simply paste it and now we can change the name of it to you can give it name as next or save now okay save now will be good as you can see here uber x uber go bike okay this is our drop down as you can see here from here we can select different values and then we have our save now now the reason i mean you can see the background uh, in the background you can also see our these lines because we have used this transparent type of color which is for the drop down okay black 54 if you want to make it full black and do not want to see the back of the drop down then you can sorry this was not the required one I mean our drop down background color okay this one you can change this to black okay and now if I show you then here you can see it will becomes like this so it's totally up to you whatever the background color you choose for the drop down okay drop down button I mean this drop down list so anyway this is how it looks now so this one is good okay the background is not visible in it otherwise if you use white 54 white 24 or black 54 then basically those are transparent black colors or transparent white colors for example white 54 so anyways this is all about our car info screen.